Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Uh, today, we are gonna play Stardew Valley. I have been playing this game quite a bit uh, over the past like couple of months. A friend of mine uh, convinced me to jump into multiplayer with him and then I didn't think I was going to like it because I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 for like, I don't know, the last year. And that's like the only game I've played. Um, and I will be going back to playing Baldur's Gate 3, but I am waiting for Patch 7 to come out because there's going to be a lot of new content and modding support and all kinds of stuff. It's supposed to drop sometime at the time of this recording, sometime this week. Um, obviously I'm going to give it a little time to be out for mod authors to like do what they're doing because I'm a modding addict. I am obsessed. So anyway, uh, Stardew Valley has been the other game that I've been playing pretty much nonstop and it started vanilla and then of course I learned how to mod it. And then if you're familiar with modding, you understand that there's like Maybe it's just my neurodivergent brain that does this, but I I'm like a pendulum. So I start like at the very base and then I swing all the way to the other end of the pendulum. And I'm like, how much modding can I do? What can I get away with? Like, what's the max like things I can do? And then I realize that a lot of times that makes it like too easy and then I get bored. So then finally I settle somewhere in the middle. And I think that after playing for about like... <laughs> couple of months now. I think I've found a happy medium. So today we're going to be starting a farm. And uh, my goal with this playthrough is to actually reach perfection. Um, most of the mods that I have installed, I think I have like 120. Um, I know that sounds like a lot, but most of them are like uh, framework mods and support mods for other mods. So um, I do have some quality of life stuff in here um but nothing that's like complete gameplay overhaul um just the ability to like streamline some things make some things a, a little you know a little easier so that you know we don't have to spend like the whole first year just like i don't know doing a whole lot of nothing uh yeah i mean you'll see when i get in there um if you want a mod list let me know in the comments and I'll make one and put it in the description. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's uh, let's make a character. Let's let's do this thing. Oh, I'm sure that music is so loud. It's always so loud in the beginning. I have to turn it off. OK, so. Um, I think I want to do the Meadowlands because it comes with chickens. Um, so let's just create a character. Uh, I'm going to start with the mirror, but I'm not going to skip the intro just in case, um, like, if you're watching this and you've never seen the intro and you don't even know, like, the like what the concept of the game is, I'll just let it play. So, um, hmm. I'm, in, I'm gonna end up changing this hair anyway with the mod that I have, so. But a cute, a cute base hairstyle is, of course, welcome. Let's see. I like that one. Ah, do I like that one? I also like that one. I'm also just going to change my outfit as soon as I get my mirror. So when it says start with mirror here, this is a mod that allows you to change like your outfits and like your hair and stuff. Um, not not your base farmer stuff 
But um, it's an app called Fashion Sense. So if you download mods that have like different outfits or different hairstyles or things like that, you can um, use this little, I'll show you, use this little hand mirror. And I'm just going to start with like a plain white shirt because I'm probably going to end up changing it. Um, shorts. Well, we'll do pants. Um... Probably just going to leave this alone, I think. Okay, what should, we na what should I name my farm? Hmm. Well, let's do a farm name. It's a Meadowlands farm. Hold on, let me, let me look up some, some farm names real quick because... I need ideas. Um, we're doing the Meadowlands farm. Let me get some inspiration real quick. Let's see. For a manor farm, what is that? I don't know what a manor farm is. Just give me some cute ideas. Maybe I can, like, do a hodgepodge or combine them or something. Let's see, geographical names. Uh, Greenwood Hollow. I think that name is too long. Ramblevine. That's cute. Echo Valley's cute. Sunnyvale. That reminds me of Sunnydale. Buffy the Vampire Slayer reference. I'm not aging myself. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Dry Creek, Greenwood Hollow, Pinnacle, Rolling Hills, Greystone. What else do we got? Uh, cattle farm. No. Uh, uh, oh, some more. Peach Tree, Misty Morning, Spring Creek, Hidden Lake, Valley Vineyard, Prairie Pat, Prairie Patch. That doesn't roll off the tongue. Hidden Creek. That's pretty basic. River Bend, Hilltop Homestead. That's cute. Starlight Acres. Oh, I like that. Can I do that? Will that fit? I could do Starlight Acre. One single acre. Um, should we do Starlight Farm? Hmm. Hmm. Ivy Creek, Whispering Oaks. So it's a Meadowlands farm. I think it has water, so Ivy Creek could work. Mossy Oak, Green Valley, Morning Glory. Um, I don't know. Do we like Starlight or Ivy Creek? I think we'll do Ivy Creek. Okay, and my favorite thing. Um, hmm. My favorite thing. Let's see. We'll do uh, sushi. Yeah, we like sushi. Okay. Kitty cat. We need a kitty cat. Oh, cute. So some of these cats are um, obviously not vanilla game cats. Because I have Elle's cuter cats. Elle? Ellie's? I don't know, do I want to fold cat? That's a cute cat. We'll do that one. No. Gray cat? That one. Oh my god, why is this so hard? I think this one. Okay, eye color. We're gonna have, like, can I do, like, a golden-y color? Whoa. 
We need like, not like brown. I don't know, that changes the eye shape to be kind of weird. It doesn't really work. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll have to just do like an actual color color. Why don't we do like purple? Do you like a purple? Um, not so dark. Maybe like bright. Uh, a light purple or dark purple. I want to be able to see that it's purple. I don't want it to be too, maybe like right there. We'll just do 75 across the board. Okay, hair color, uh, <laughs> green, duh, like a tealish green. Do you like, yeah. Do, maybe, yeah. Like that. I think we like that. Oh, the eyes are bugging me. We gotta make them darker. Sorry. It's just, it, it, yeah, I can't. I think that's okay. You can still tell they're purple. Okay, pant color. Dark denim always. Uh, do like there and then do like. There, maybe eighty. You tell I like eight, like rounded numbers. I think that works. <gasps> yeah. Okay. I forgot to click guaranteed one year complete, but oh well. I guess we'll figure it out. For my very special granddaughter. Oh no, Grandpa! I want you to have the sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I'm gonna make sure I'm recording. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay, good. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. That sounds like me now. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Don't open the envelope until your spirit is broken into a million pieces. Now let Grandpa rest. XX. Years later. Oh yeah, this was totally me a couple years ago. Except instead of a corporate grind, it was like a service industry grind. Look at me, I'm so sad. Oh yeah. The skeleton. <laughs> Dear Lena, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place, or to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Ivy Creek Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? All right. Onward to Stardew Valley.
So I didn't do a total aesthetic overhaul. Like I didn't change the buildings or anything, but I did put like a toned down recolor over everything. Cause as beautiful as the base game is, it is so saturated and like yellow that it hurts my eyes. So I did a, like an earthy recolor. Hello, you must be Lena. Also, I changed the portraits to be anime, because, duh. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Okay, Robin. This is Ivy Creek Farm. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. A little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. We're gonna have to change the color of this house. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. How'd they know I was coming? It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, okay. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Yeah. It's a good house. Very rustic. Fair enough. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Lena. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. I mean... Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Okay, tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Okay. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Zerusta. Okie dokie. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix these buildings real quick and then I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so we got everything fixed, hopefully. Hopefully it'll be nice. Um, so the way I think I'm going to break this up is that for every seven in-game days, that's going to be like one YouTube episode. All right, so let's just fix this UI a bit because everything is way... Okay, that's much better. Oh, hey, look, hey. Uh, okay, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Feed your chickens each day by letting them eat grass outside or by placing hay into their troughs. Once they mature, harvest an egg. And introduce myself to everybody. Okay, so this is the house. Um, oh, so I have a happy birthday mod where I get to pick a birthday and people will actually recognize my birthday, which is super cool. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta change this house real quick. Um, yeah, cause this is just not it. This is not it, fam.
Okay. Perfect. <gasps> so much better. Now the house is not a giant eyesore. I heard someone who was moving into the valley and thought to offer a housewarming gift. I've included my old hand mirror with this letter, which could be should be used to help with your fashion sense. If you ever lose it, you can buy another from Pierre's shop. Haley. Thanks, Haley. So this is how this works. You click on it, then you click on yourself, then like, oh, hey, look, I can... Anything that I have downloaded, I can change all of that. So I have a bunch of, like, hairstyles from just various different things. Oh, that's cute. Hair color needs to be a little darker, though. Let's do, like... Whoa! Just maybe twelve. Yeah, twelve is better. Okay, and then we'll add some blush. Yes, because we're gonna be a little cutie patootie. Now uh, we'll do head headwear later. All right, let's find it. Cute outfit. Okay, we gotta fix the shoes first. There we go. Let's do just some like brown shoes, I think. Uh, maybe. Uh, there we go. A good, like, just medium brown shoe, I think. It's gonna be fine. Okay, it's springtime. Something cute. And springy. Aww. Oh my god, my character is so adorable. She just needs like a cute little farmer outfit. That's pretty cute. Oh my god, that's adorable. How do you not love that? Ugh, I can't stop. You could also just do like your basic little Ugh, I wish the blue was darker. It's too it's too light. I don't like it. We're just normal pants. I think we're just gonna go back to that one. Okay, yes, I love it. All right. Okay, so we gotta meet people and we have to clear out this damn farm. Oh, they said I had chickens. <gasps> I have chickens. Oh, hello, babies. Chicky. And Grish, that, no. Mm-mm. Nope. Okay, chicken names. Get to think of something cute. So there's this French dish. It's not actually a dish, but it's like a way to cook eggs. It's called oeuf mole, and I think I'm going to call them that. O, E, U, F. So one will be oeuf. And the other will be mole. M O L L E T. Perfect. I just realized that might actually be kind of shitty, but 
For those of you that don't know what Of Malay is, I will tell you. Or maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe I won't because I can't seem to... Oh, hey, there we go. So, oh, eh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Of Malay is basically another word for soft-boiled egg. <laughs> So combined, they are one soft-boiled egg. Okay, all right, let's go. So, oh man. Oh, I think I have, from my other save, I still have. I'm gonna keep Harvest with the scythe on because that's just a quality of life thing for me. But as far as like, and I'll keep plus one move speed. I think this is the only quote cheats I'm gonna like really allow myself uh, I just have to take all these off for my other save that I had done okay so I am gonna do should I do auto water crops no I'm not going to okay and I'm also going to do No Friendship Decay. So just for the record, the only quality of life slash workaround cheat-esque things I'm doing is No Friendship Decay, plus one to move speed, and Harvest with Scythe. That's it. Okay. Why is it still, is it still one hit breaking? Hold on. No, it's not. Okay. They're just small enough where they just want to hit break. So we'll just, just clear this out. Um, so I want this to be pretty like slow paced, pretty cozy. destroyed my fence. No. Okay, so we need 50 wood to make our first chest. soon. Hut. Not to worry, I have a mod for that. Can I get this tree? Can I get it? I get into my cave? Where is my cave? I haven't played this map. Where is my cave? Oh, there it is. What's oh, a home? Okay. 
So this is a, a cave, cave mod. Normally it's just like the section cuts off here and it's literally just this. But I have a little bit of like crop space in here. It's just a tiny little mod, but this is what I really got it for. So it's like a mini hot spring that I can use to like replenish my energy when I'm working on the farm before I have like any forageables or like food or anything. So I don't have to go to bed at 1.30 p.m. and like waste the day. Um, yeah. So we'll just do that. I do love that in multiplayer of this game, and it's, oh, excuse me, it's only in multiplayer, but if you're playing co-op with somebody, you can go, like, just sit in your bed and not, like, actually go to sleep, and it's like you're taking a nap, and it'll um, replenish your energy, just like the hot, sp the hot spring does in here. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I don't need to clear all this out yet. I need to go back up here. Uh, oh, it's 2.40. I probably should get some crops. And probably say hi to some people. Mix seeds. All right, first things first. We need a chest. Uh. All right, let's go town. Piece of candy. Another piece of candy. Who should I romance? It's a big question, isn't it? Where is everybody? It's 410 to get to Pierre's before it closes. Hi, Caroline. Okay. Hi. Hello, you must be Lena, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. I know, I love you, Caroline. My husband runs a general store here. Have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with purple hair. <laughs> Your husband's a jerk. Hi, Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. She's so cute. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Hi, Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Lena, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll always buy produce from you. Or I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Yeah, uh huh. Little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. All right, well, sell me some shit. Let's see. I'm going to need... Two cauliflower. I'm going to need quality parsnip seeds, but I'm probably not going to be able to do those yet. Uh, I don't need any of those. So I'll need one for the center, one for Caroline, one for the center, one for the center, one for the center. Uh, I guess I'll just do the rest into potatoes. Yeah, it's like all I have money for. Cool. Wait, is Abigail here? No. Okay, nobody's here. Oh, there she is. Hey, Abby. Hey. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving onto the old farm. Kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Well, sorry to disappoint, but you can come over and hang out anytime. 
<gasps> Sam! Hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hi, Sam. Hey, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Hey, I overheard someone saying they got your first chicken the other day. Man, I wish Grandma had chickens. I'd eat a dozen raw eggs for breakfast each morning. Oh god, everybody's here. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hi, Maru. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Okay. <gasps> Haley, baby girl. Oh no, wait, come back. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Yeah, you're the one that gave me your hand mirror. Thanks. Uh, oh, I'm Haley. Hi. Uh, hmm. If it weren't those, those for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. Um, okay, wow. She's so mean, and I love it. Okay, talk to Leah, talk to Sam. Harvey! It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I'm sure it is, Harvey. I hope you find your own work equally rewarding in time. Yeah, well. I left my soul-sucking career. So... Hopefully, the farm life is better. Hmm. Alright, let's clear some more of this out. We'll save those. I haven't heard any music. That's good for now. Potatoes. Parsnip. Two cauliflowers. Some mix seeds. The green bean here. Mm. 
So you can go find a few more mixed seeds. No? Not so lucky? He's a mixed seeds. Oh, I have two. Oh, I just need like one more. Oh, one more. Perfect. Awesome. Let's go to bed. Perfect. All right. Day one is done. Yeah, house is cute. Ooh, a letter. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Piers, got you covered. Stop by Piers General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 pack. It's not affordable, it's 2,000 gold. Mm. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Fishing pole. Oh, I forgot to water my plants yesterday. Fuck. I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot. I planted you, but I didn't water you. chickens. Hey yo, level one foraging. Let's go pet the babies. Give me my wood. Hi hey, babies. You need hay? Nope, you're still good. go into town. Just gonna take a little swim. <sighs> this is one of the coolest mods ever. There's a bunch of different variations of like farm cave mods. This one I think is called Hidden Spring Farm Cave. 
Um, the other one I really like is Lynn's Fantasy Farm Cave. That one's super cool, but it's a little extra. And I didn't want it to be like that extra with this playthrough, so. All right, what am I doing? I'm going to the beach, right? So for those of you that have played, like, the vanilla base game... I'm looking for someone to bring me 10 iron ores. No way in hell I'm gonna do that right now. Clint, sorry. Who have played- Oh, hi Jody. Sorry. I am, like, all over the place. You aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay, I'm Jody. Hi Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. <gasps> hi Emily! Oh, I can read it in your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. She is the definition of manic pixie dream girl. Full on crystal girly. She's so funny. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Marnie. Oh, hey. Oh, hi. Hi. Mara Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Okay. Um... When you play the vanilla game, it's like super pretty. But the colors are so like yellow. And as someone who has like really bad sensory issues, I just can't do it. I feel like the tone down is so much nicer. Willy! Oh, hi there, miss. All right, there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Does that mean I get your old one? Hell yeah. Yeah. I can do that. I received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh, yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. Also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Okay. So, I, I also have visible fish, so I can see the fish in the water. Alright, this is gonna suck. Fishing early game is so hard. <laughs> oh my god, the bar is so small. is what this game is about. Just chilling. I spaced out for a second. doing the rest of the day of the days fishing.
know that I need a sardine for the community center. I don't think I need herring or anchovy, which means we can sell them. Whoa. Oh, sh shizzle nizzle. Is this a flounder? Oh, no. Damn it. I'm not very good at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, come on. The bar is so small. I think Willie's place closes at four, so I should be able to sell these to him before he closes. A squirrely bugger. Oh, my God, oh my God. Go. Oh. Come on, is this a flounder? What is this? What is this? What is this? What are you? Ugh. That was like the hardest sardine ever. We got this, fam. We got this. your mind. Make up your mind. Thank you. Alright, maybe two more? Depending on how fast they bite. Oh shit. Closes. We're gonna keep the sardine and then we'll sell everything else. Hey yo. Can I change my bobber yet? No. I mean, I can, but it's just blue. Alright. Let's forage the beach. Wait, is I think I'm gonna need one of these for the community center. Ooh. And I think I'm gonna need one of these. Um, 300 pieces of wood. I should get that fixed as soon as possible. Oh, oh, hello. 
Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. Oh, really? I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too, Elliot. Oh, hi, Sam. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Take it easy. Okay. Who am I not met? Jazz, Vincent, Shane, George, Evelyn, Clint, Gus, Pam, Linus, Demetrius, the wizard, and Sebastian. Most of these people I can meet on Friday at the saloon, so I'm not too worried about it. Each is a cool place to hang out and soak up some rays. Yeah, man. Uh, I prefer my life pale, thank you. Do you want to hang out at the hang out with me at the beach sometimes? You have a bikini, of course. Who are you? Shane! I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Okay, Grump. Grump, I guess. Let's go plant these carrot seeds. And make another chest for community center stuff. center chest like right here. I'm gonna need one of those, one of those, one of those, one of those. I'm actually gonna leave it. Okay. Um, oh, my house is so cute. Okay, uh, did I pet my chickens today? Yes. Okay. Uh, so I, I think we're just gonna clear some stuff out. Um, instead of going all the way back down to the beach to fish, I'll just spend some time clearing out the farm, collecting resources, and um, then we'll go to bed. I will be out of energy here soon. <gasps> Found a geode. A local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what be might be hidden inside? Wow, English is hard today. Get the 300 pieces of wood, I can restore the bridge to the tide pools. But I also don't want to clear out too many trees because when I forget which skill it is, if it's farming or foraging, I think it's foraging, uh, I can get tappers and I need to get those on trees as soon as possible. Time soon. Yep, that's it. Can I plant this one in seed? Sweet. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's that's all we got. Alright, day two in the books. 
Field snacks and wild seeds. And fishing. Oh, it's a rainy day. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Spirits are very happy, which I can also see right here, because I have a uh, UI info suite. So normally I'd watch the TV to find that information out, but it's also right here, so. I don't have to water my plants today. Oh, chickens. Before we do this, we gotta check on the babies. Check on the babies. Should I just leave that open? Babies. Oh, you have eggs. That was fast. Craft a scarecrow. Build a silo. That's going to be a little while. We will need, nope, large eggs for the community center. So I can sell these. Everybody's going to be at home today. Could try to catch a catfish, but I'm not really feeling like uh, messing with all that. Uh, I don't know, should I? Decided yet? Think about it. Gonna be just doing this all day. Can I walk there? I'm gonna block the button. not enough space. Okay.
that energy soon. It's only 3.30, so I can take a little, a little sauna break. And then still have time to get a substantial amount of clearing done on the farm. Because resources are everything. Should be good. So we definitely need the three hundred pieces of wood for the some field snacks? Not really. Let's go plant some more seeds. Alright, I know it's only eight, but... our water and then maybe we'll do some fishing in this little pond. Maybe I'll get something. <gasps> A bream! I think I'm gonna need that for the community center too.
Yay, trash. Leah like driftwood? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I think we're gonna call it a day. It's 10 50. I mean, to stay up till 2 a.m. Also, while this hairstyle is super cute, I think I'm going to change it. Hey, I made 112 gold. We're rich. We're so rich. All right. Let's... Oh, I have a letter. First... Let's change my hairstyle because I'm just not vibing with that. That's cute. Super cute too. Oh my god. Oh, that's even more cute. We're gonna go. Okay. You know, there's a lot of stone scattered around your farm. If you have any surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold when you're ready for it. Robin, I do not have any of that right now. Pretty cool farm map. I haven't even explored the whole thing yet, but seems pretty cool. Oh no! Let's go fix the bridge. 
decided randomly I want to change my outfit. Let's do that one. Do the skirt. to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Ain't that the truth? Maybe that's why I like reading so much. I get it. Sorry, I got carried away there. It's okay. I get it. I'm a big reader too. Wait, what am I coming down here for? Oh yeah, to fix the bridge. an artifact the curator of the local museum might want to know about this. I'm sure he does. I'll take the clam too. Fix the bridge. Hey yo, look at all this! This is why we fixed the bridge. Oh no, my inventory is All that in there for now. Let's see. I guess since we're down here, we'll fish. Since we're going, oh shit. Since we're going with the flow of things. could buy more crops, but I'm going to use all my energy watering them this early in the game, so I don't want to, like, get too many. I can help it. Now this fish is, like, not even trying. Oh, no. I messed up. Misclick. you're gonna shoot up. No? Yes? No? Make up your mind! <gasps> oh, flounder! You like flounder. about the treasure. Mm -hmm. 
Right, let's sell some stuff to Willy. Hello, seagull. Okay, there's nothing else on the beach. Hi, Willy. I'm gonna save that flounder because I know Sebastian likes flounder. Okay, cool. What are you? Oh no! out of energy here in a second, so... Okay. La, 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 la. Let's... And welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Hi, Granny. Talk to Caroline and Jody. I haven't talked to Gus yet. Hi, Gus. Ooh. Snacks? Oh, God, they're so expensive. Take a bread. Thanks. Hey, okay, better than nothing. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Stop in if you need any refreshments. I've always got hot coffee and cold beer at the ready. Speaking my language. Okay. Okay. I met all of these people. Maybe I should go say hi to Robin. Am I going to make it up there before she closes? Probably not. Take that, though. Oh yes, I made it. Hi Robin, have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, it is. Hi Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. Yes, I have. Old threadish. Oh, my king Linus. Ooh, a leap. Stranger, hello. Hello, Linus. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Yes, I know you do. My little hippie king. Okay. 
Alright, so I guess now we'll go back, plant this thing of mixed seeds. Dip in the sauna and then clear out some more of the farm. It's interesting playing like a cozy game and recording it for YouTube because it's like when you play a game like Baldur's Gate or something, there's always so much happening, but this is like so cozy and chill. It doesn't always require a ton of commentary, which is kind of nice. Okay, I think that's enough imaging. Now, I just need some energy IRL. More seeds. love all these sound effects. It's 11.30. I think it's time to wrap it up for tonight. Day four is done. Rich!
Hello, Lena. Hello, Marnie. See this cat here? Uh, I do. Gimme, gimme. It's so cute. Poor little thing. Come be at home with me. Yes. 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 Ooh, what should I name you? Hmm. Let's see. I think I should give it a, a food name. Uh, maybe not a food name? My mind is drawing a blank. What should I name a key cat? I mean, I like Miso. Miso is pretty cute. I could name it Mochi. I could name it... Saki. Yes. Hi. My carrots are ready. To our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Yeah, uh-huh, sure it is. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. Uh-huh, sure it is. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value our continued support and patronage. Morris. A.K.A. We got carrots. Well, not anymore because I just sold them. Oh, the traveling cart lady is here. Let's go see what she has. She has anything. we're down here we'll forage even check our luck today. Maybe you should stay home today. <laughs> okay, so don't do anything then? Bad luck day? Should I just go to bed and wake up tomorrow?
Yes, give me all your resources. So I think my motto is going to be, at least for this first little while, is if I don't need it for the community center, um, we are going to sell it. Which we haven't even unlocked the community center yet, but there are a few things I know for sure I'm going to need. And then if I have any question as to whether I'm going to need it, I'll just hang on to it until I know for sure. And then if I don't, I'll sell it. Sounds like a smart plan. It's Leah's place. The master of the five ways may enter. Fair enough. I'll take these. Spring onions! Okay, can't go in the sewer yet. Good luck day, so it's probably not gonna find a whole lot of anything today. So, when that's the case, I think just gathering resources is a good default. all we're going to get down here for now. Oh, so it's Friday. So, um, we're definitely going to go to the saloon tonight because everybody likes to congregate there on Friday nights. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. So if there's anybody I haven't met yet, they might be there. Just gonna take a little dippy dip. Clear out some more of the farm. And... Oh, I didn't touch my chickens today. I gotta say hi to my babies. Babies. Oh, and I have to pet my cat. 
Gotta keep the animals happy. Okay, I'm coming. Uh, where's my cat? Hello, cat. Oh, excuse me. I have a hiccup. Hey, babies! Oh, hello. We have eggs. We have eggs. Are they large? No. Just regular size. We'll go put these in the bin. Drop those off there. Okay. It's 420, 430. So we'll just clear some stuff and then. Oh, actually, we should probably. Shit, time's going by so fast. We should probably just go ahead and head to the saloon. Try to talk to as many people as possible and then come back and then go to bed probably I think I read somewhere that every day in this game is like 13 minutes long or something okay oh. onward to town up here yes Whoop. oh I also have NPC map locations so I, yeah everybody's congregating in this area for the most part this is like an essential mod if you don't have that this just makes everything a little easier kind of knowing where everybody's at so you don't have to like memorize everybody's schedules or at least know where they're at until you can memorize their schedules seaweed for a project i'm working on yeah sam i think i have seaweed i do give that to you Seaweed. Thanks a million, Lena. I should have known you'd be the one to take this job. Of course. The cue ball a bit of a topspin. Maybe I could... Hmm. Abigail. I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes I totally lose track of time. Me too, girl. Me too. <gasps> Hi. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Hi, Sebastian. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. Oh, he's so cute! Okay, so the, the first time I ever played this game, I was all about Elliot. And I know a lot of people don't like Elliot, and that's fine, but I like Elliot. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. Uh, yeah, I imagine. So anyway, I'm just gonna leave this up here so it pauses, but I loved Elliot so much. And I originally thought I was going to be into Sebastian. And then my friend that I was playing with was like, oh, yeah, everybody loves Sebastian. Everybody loves the emo kid. And I'm like, well, yeah, he's totally my type. Like, femboy, you know, emo gamer kid. It's like my, describes my partner, like, perfectly. Anyway, so, but then I met Elliot and I was like, oh, I'm so down for Elliot. And I romanced Elliot and I was like, yes. Then. I started to understand why people like Sebastian so much, like why people like Sebi. So I think I'm gonna romance him. Um, I also really like Leah. So yeah, I don't know. Bi panic is real. So we're we're just yeah. Anyway, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be a Sebastian one this time. You met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. Yes, I just did. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. Don't tell her I said that. Uh, I mean, she's right here. She probably heard you. Don't you have work to do? Yes. You're such a grumpy guy. Oh, hi there. It's nice to see young folk move in into the valley. It's not very common these days. 
Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Okay, don't let me stop you. I think you'll love having a little friend on the farm with you. Me too! Okay, Marnie. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Good evening. It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see what the latest news is. You mean gossip? It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Ah, uh, agreed, Leah. That's why I like you. Hi, Elliot. Fresh air of this valley is good for the body and mind. Fucking Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. Boy, Gus, give me another pint of your strongest. Ugh. Ah, spring, the season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Yes, you were. And I like jewel tones better, also. I am not a pastel girly. Oh, okay. We're gonna leave. That was fun. Hey, Penny! You dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. One time I found a really old piece of pottery. I brought it to Gunther, and he said it was over a thousand years old. Yeah, I have a couple things I need to give Gunther, too. Alright. Anything I can plant? Yes. More seeds. One, two, and then three, four right there. Perfect. Oh, I didn't water these today. Oops. I forget to water them like all the time. What else can I do that's not too terribly invasive? Let's just chop, well, let's fill this up. And then let's just clear a little bit for a couple more minutes and then we'll go to bed and then we'll start the next day. That's a hoe. No. My stone. Stone fell in the water. Really see super well, but we'll do the best we can with what is obvious. Ten fifty, so we should probably just call in a night here soon. I still have some energy left, so. Go to bed. 
So if I can save up 2,000 gold, I can get the backpack upgrades so my inventory space will be increased, which will be so nice. Okay. Night, kitty kitty. Oh, we're almost done with our first week. Oh my god, look at all that money! Look at us go. Look at us go. Look at us go. Okay. Oh, thanks, Sam. Forgot about that. Woo! Props. Okay, so I definitely need one parsnip for the community center. And I will need five gold ones. But... Uh, I won't get those for like a minute. So I'll go buy some more here. And here's opens. But until then, I'm gonna make the rounds on the babies. Babies! I love babies. God, if I had a farm IRL, like the animals would be my favorite part. Regular eggs? Okay, yeah. I don't want a tree growing there. Okay. Just clear out some stuff, clean up the farm a little more, and then we'll go to Pierre's, get some more parsnip seeds. So hopefully, the more we grow, I can get some gold quality. Or at least start making my way towards that. As much as this grass as possible for when I get a silo, which is gonna be a little ways away too. bridge back here somewhere. Yes. I can't do anything until I upgrade my axe, which will be a while. Oh, I could probably go to Pierre's now. Just clear that tree out so I can see that in the future and I don't forget that it's there. some seeds, water the plants. Um, yeah. How many do I need? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Any forgeables? Nope. Oh. Oh, hi 
there. What an eyesore. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV and engage with the, than engage with the community. Okay, boomer. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Yeah, you do. Shut the fuck up. Sorry. Jojo Corp's been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. No, it's because capitalist scum is capitalist scum. Anyone else buys a Jojo Corp membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Sigh, here, let's go inside. Okay. I love the soundtrack to this game. Found a playlist on Spotify that was like Stardew Valley Lo-Fi and then like gaming Lo-Fi. So it's got like Minecraft music and Stardew Valley music and Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit Lo-Fi music and like Game of Thrones Lo-Fi music. It was so cool. Anyway, hmm, what's this? Guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Look at it, it's a little Totoro. That's a mod. I made them little Totoros. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? Uh, no. You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Sure thing, Lewis. They're rats. Look at him. I can't. Too cute. You're worrying me, Lena. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Okay. Bye. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Uh, let's do that right now. And then I gotta get seeds. Oh, hey, look! I can't read that. Alright, six parsnip seeds. <sighs> That's all for now. Hi. Hi. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Such a small town, you can't avoid meeting everyone. I wonder what it's like to live in the city. It's overrated. Actually, I don't know. I really loved living in the city when I lived in the city, but... I wouldn't want to now. I mean, maybe I would. It would depend. Water in my plants. Water in my plants. Mm. 
Cool. Let's go take a dip in the... Dip in the cave. Ayo, dip in the cave. All right, it's 2 p.m. What do I have to do? Go to Gunther, build a silo, reach farming level one. There are two people I haven't met yet. George and Clint. Okay, I guess I'll go see them. And then stop by the museum on my way. Should be good enough. Today's my day off, but I figure I shouldn't stay cooped up all day. Hi, Clint. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Uh, I don't need to upgrade tools, but I need to break these open. Take some copper. Oh no, I'm out of inventory space. There. Ooh, another artifact. And another! And another! Cool, thanks Clint. some shit. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. Got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Fair enough. Think about it, will you? You decide to donate, just bring me the objects to the front bring the objects to the front of the desk. Okay. I'll do it. Mostly because I know there's like 40 grand waiting for me if I do. Uh, okay. I'll donate. I think this one goes here. This one goes like seeds. Hey yo. Okay, so we visited Clint. Uh, silo. Okay, let's go plant these cauliflower. Hi, Willie. Oh, 
else do I need to meet? Can I finish that? Who do I need? George. I need to meet George. Oh, Georgie boy. Oh, hi, Alex. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me. I must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. Good for you, man. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Yeah, agreed. Name's George, by the way, now buzz off. Okay, fine. See ya. I like Evelyn better anyway. Alright, I met everybody. Give someone a gift. Alright, let's do that. Where's Sebastian? Sebi is at Sam's place. Because it's Saturday. Hi, Leah, my love. Love to decorate for the different seasons. I think I need one of these. Oh, I already have one. Ship it then. Oh, do I have to wait? I have to wait. Fine. Alright. I'll just sit here. We're gonna hang out, guys. This is what Stardew is about. Waiting. To gift people things. Or to finish their requests. Or whatever. thinking about something. What do you want? Oh, you're so grouchy. Hmm, I just remembered that I was meaning to do something but I forgot. This happens to me all the time. Yeah, me too. Okay, I forget how cranky everybody is in the beginning. It's not very nice. dark. I think I'm probably just gonna call it an early night tonight. Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of the Sauce, here to teach you a new mouthwatering recipe for my secret cookbook. This, this week's dish is stir fry. Healthy greens on your plate, saute the greens in a little sesame oil. Make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. Actually, that sounds good. I'm kind of hungry now. Oh, hi, Clint. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. You want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. 
just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints laying around here. I want you to have them. Okay, cool. Thanks. Furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Fair enough. When you have smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Okay, bye, Clint. Thanks. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your, quote, rat problem. M. Rasmodius wizard. Okay. So we're going to go see the wonderful wizard of Stardew. snips that are not gold. Okay. Let's see. Chickies. Chicky, chicky. Mm -hmm. eggs. So seeds first, traveling merchant, wizard. Backpack upgrade. Broke again. One, two, three. Is that how many are in the shipping bin? Yes. Actually, I'll just sell you that right now. Open with that. Perfect. All right. Let's go see. It's the wizard. Now 
I don't have enough money to really buy anything from the traveling merchant. I wanted to. Ooh, I will need that. And I'd rather just go ahead and get it. Because that fish is a pain in the butt to find. It has to be rainy, I think, and nighttime. I think. Ah, oh, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths, mediary between physical and ethereal, master of the seven elementals, keeper of the sacred sh. You get the point. And you, Lena, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! A Totoro! Oh my god, they're so cute. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yes. Call themselves the Junimos, the Totoros. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. It's because you're not as cool as me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. They're too cute. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Yes, I did. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. What the frick? I love their little scared, surprised expressions. They're so cute. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Uh-oh. It's time to trip balls on ayahuasca to become one with the forest. One with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Just give me the drugs, man. Aha! I mean, he looks like he's been... Look at him. He looks like he's been... Drinking it daily. Come here. I don't wanna. I'm not ready. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Yeah. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Oh god. Here we go. And we're tripping forest balls. the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Okay. Well, off we go. Oh, it's Lewis's birthday. What is Lewis like? Do I have anything I can give him? Parsnip. I will give him a parsnip. Wait. Do I only have one parsnip? 
Did I sell all my other parsnips? Sorry, Lewis, you're not getting anything for your birthday this year. Oh, hey, Jazz. Um, did you want something? No? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Okay, that's smart. Hi, Penny. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Yeah. Haley, here, have that. Gasp for me? Thank you. My sister's so weird, sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Sometimes I wonder if I'm related to any of my family. Ooh. Resources. Just take all of that. Read the scroll. I have all of that. Seeds. Construction bundle. How much wood do I have? hardwood yet because um I have to upgrade my tools so I have a parsnip I have a parsnip boom yet or that or that or that or that That's all I can do for now. Alright, what else do I gotta do today? Craft a furnace. Can I go into the mines? Let's go unlock the mines. Ooh, more seeds. Someone was throwing rocks in my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. I'm sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. Yeah, I need that. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Oh, hey, thanks. You received a rusty sword. 
Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay. Uh, here we go. Take some spring onions, because I'll probably need some food. I only have three. And a horseradish, so... We might not be down here very long. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I want to switch these two. Alright, let's get some ore, hopefully. Maybe I can make it five levels? Guess we'll see. What do I need for the... I think I need like 20 copper ore for the uh, furnace. Then I won't have any ore left to smelt, but... Actually, let's do the horseradish first. Probably be doing this until uh, I have to go back home. donate you to the community center. saving my eggs for my chickens because I am out. It's not even a point in going down another level because it won't save. Alright, that was fun. So, I think to wrap up the day, uh, we're gonna take a dip, plant my miscellaneous seeds, and then go to sleep. And then that will be it for this episode. Did I pet my cat today? I did. Okay. Yeah! Week one in the valley will be in the books. Linus, or not Linus, uh, Lewis doesn't get a present this year. Because I ain't got nothing! I got a whole lot of nothing. Alright, I just need enough to be able to plant... Uh, the seeds that I have 
in the chest. This one. Do I want to plant all 30 of these? Probably not. That's a lot of watering. I'll probably just use these to fill in. So let's see, I'll do 225 plots here. So they're nice, yeah, we're nice and even, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'll plant these mm -hmm. and then I'll just use these to fill in whatever's left. And then that'll just be the size of our crop field for now until I level up and get uh, my energy bar goes up because otherwise I'm going to be using all my stamina just to water plants every day and we, we can't be having that. So anyway. Well, all right, party people. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go to bed and yeah, that is week one in the valley in the books and I will catch you on the next one. Okay, bye.